Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Disha and I'm here to help you transform your house into a home. In today's episode of our Indian art form series, I'm going to talk about the art of paper cutting or book pattern known as Sanchi. Like the name itself suggests, Sanchi or paper cutting artwork is an art of paper cutting in, in a way that paper holds together and yet it shows beautiful intricate pattern on it. So like always, I'll start with origin, style, theme and then process of the artwork. So let's start. Sanji is practiced in Mathura and Vrindavan in Uttar Pradesh in India. Though it is done all across the world, but Sanji is little different from all of them. Sanji is said to have originated in around four to five hundred years ago in 16th or 17th century so like all other indian art forms that i have shared in my previous videos this art form is also very ancient and some craftsmen believe that sanji word is derived from sanj or sham which means dusk the time of day when temple floors are decorated using these stenciled papers and on the other hand some craftsmen believe that this uh, Sanji is derived from, Sanji word is derived from Saj Sajja or uh, Sajjavat which means decoration because these papers are used to decorate temple floors. Since it is a traditional art form of Mathura, the birthplace of Lord Krishna, the theme mainly depicts life of Lord Krishna and his various leelas and uh, the tem temple floors and walls are decorated using these stenciled papers and rangoli. Uh, this art form is highly refined art form so it is mainly done by Brahmin priests in temples. Nowadays only a few families uh, to be precise only 14 or 15 families are there in Mathura who practice this art and if you are interested in seeing Sanji in temples then uh, Radharaman temple in Vrindavan is the place where you can see this art. It is believed that Radhe or Radha used to decorate her walls and floors using colored papers and foils and colored stones and flowers and leaves to woo Krishna and then all the other gopis also followed the suit. But during Mughal period the art form began to depict more scenes like Mughal architecture, floral and geometric patterns and various other scenes. Like I said earlier, it is an art of paper cutting, so only paper and uh, specially designed scissors and sometimes blade is used to cut paper and then intricate mythological figures, floral and geometric patterns are cut into paper. And here I would like to share an amazing fact that uh, in its traditional form, craftsmen don't draw or trace the design on paper. They would make paper cutting directly on the paper and uh, it is done so precisely that you would not be able to find any flaw and hence here i would like to mention two names who are still reviving this art form and keeping it alive and they are mr mohan kumar verma and mr ram soni they are fourth generation sanji artists let me introduce puja ajmera a paper cutting artist i have featured her in my blog. The link is given in the description box below. She left her corporate job and started Tikhi Churi where she makes and sells paper cutting artwork. Here is some of her paper cutting work. For paper cutting art, you will obviously need a paper, it can be a handmade paper, good quality printing paper, watercolor paper or any paper from 90 GSM to 385 GSM. But remember, the thinner the paper is, the easier it is to cut, but that will increase the chances of making mistakes. I am using 120 GSM A4 size scrapbooking paper. I have added the link to buy all the products in the description box. Next, you will need a self-healing cutting mat so that your work surface is protected. This mat has grid and patterns marked on both sides. This is must have for crafters and for people who love DIYs. And also you will need a blade or scalpel with fine point. 
a pencil and an eraser. Now place the paper on cutting mat and for design either you can create your own design like I did. I'll try to add it in printable format in my blog and then I'll add the link in the description as well. Or you can find free templates online. Download the template and then you can print it on paper. The printed side will be wrong side so make sure you print mirror image of the pattern. Here is an extra tip. Don't apply cream or moisturizer on your hands or else you will end up staining your paper. This second fish I am making to show you paper cutting work in easier way. I have shedded all the parts that I will cut out using blade. It looks like stencil and it will be easy for you to start with this one. Make sure you have a sharp blade and keep some spare blades too. Keep them safe in a case. My blade was blunt so I am changing it. Now hold the knife like pen and try to keep even pressure. Enjoy the process and relax. Don't do it in hurry. While making cuts, hold the paper with other hand for more control. For cutting straight lines, you can use ruler but for such curved designs, it is better to move the paper around. Cut the paper deeply enough but not too deep. Remove the pieces of paper as you cut them out. You can use blade's tip to lift the chip of paper and then pull it with your fingers but do it gently. If it doesn't come out easily then use blade to cut it again and it will come out easily. Here I am demonstrating how to cut complex and intricate patterns. Cut as close as you can to either side of the pencil line. Do it slowly and enjoy every bit of this process. No matter how pro the artist is, the blade sometimes slips and can sever an element of your design. Don't panic at that time. Use either a sticky tape to fix the element or use a chip of paper and stick it on the place where you have made mistake. Once the design is complete, you can either get it framed between glass or you can use contrasting paper for background. I am a bit confused about the background color. I am showing you some backgrounds here. Please help me by leaving the comment which one you like the most. that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you and if you in case you try to make this art form then do share with me on my Instagram this is my Instagram ID and this is my Facebook ID. I'll see you soon in my next video till then watch either this video or this wish you all love luck and sunshine bye bye